Editing in London. Trim's a small offline house where we cut high-end commercials and music videos for clients like Google, Honda and Nike. We've got six editors and four of us are using Final Cut Pro 10 for all of our work. And I've made these videos just to show you a couple of things that I really love about using it. Okay, so let's look at organizing and selecting in Final Cut. This is an Audi commercial I did recently. And as you can see, I've got all my media broken down into keywords based on what they are. So I've got all the shots of the wheel, all the wide shots broken down in keywords here. And I can also go up here and search wide to find all the wide shots, or I could search wheel. So when I'm selecting my rushes, I use two functions, which are called rejecting and favoriting. So let's just take a look in one of these keywords. So we're going to look at this one called straps. And I'm going to choose to view all my clips. Now these red sections, these are the rejected parts of the clips. So this is all the parts of the clip that I don't want to see ever again. Uh, so the heads and tails of the clips, any shots that are complete duds. And I can just come up here and choose to hide all my rejected portions of the clips. And that just gets rid of all those parts of the shots and I don't ever have to look at them again. Unless I want to, and then I can just show all clips again and it shows me all the rejected sections. Let's hide the rejected parts. And these green sections here, these are called favourites. These are my selected parts of the clips. And once again, I can just choose to view my favourites. And now I'm just seeing the portions of the clips that I've selected. So I'm just going to show you now how I'd create those favourites and rejects. So this clip here, the front of the shot I'm never going to use, and the back of the shot, once it dies, I'm never going to use either. So I just put an out point here, press delete, and it adds a rejected portion. And I'm going to put an in point at the end there, press delete, and then I can just hide those rejected sections. And that leaves me with just the usable portion of the clip. And then what I do is I'll go through with J, K, and L, and I'll do an in point and an out point, and I'll press F to favorite, and then in, out, F to favorite, maybe add a bit more on that one. So what's really great about this is that I can see the portions of clips I've selected and the portions I haven't selected, and I can easily select those favorited ranges. If I jump back here, I can go through each of my different scenes to look up all the footage I've got, or I can decide to just view the favorites, and I can go through and just see the favorites in all those scenes, or I could jump back and just see the favorites contained within this whole folder, or just see the favorites. So what that means is that I do a lot of my early editing right up in the browser, and I don't use rigid string out sequences or select roles, and it's, it's just a really fast and dynamic way of working, and means I can find the shots I need really quickly.